For four decades, Catch One was a legendary Los Angeles nightclub. It was an institution where celebrities, politicians, and everyday people of all colors, cultures, and backgrounds converged. The Catch came to be known as the unofficial Studio 54 of the West Coast. The bangingest music. You came here prepared to dance. I've danced in this club in jock straps. <laughs> with cowboy boots. And I would go in there and dance and everyone would leave me alone. It's a fat club and it's a fat neighborhood. Catch was uh, created to fulfill a need. At the time that uh, we opened, 19, mid-1970s, there was still a, an abundance of, of racism. The Catch offered a place where any and everybody could come. We've encountered a lot of racism in our, in our days, you know. They throw things at us. I'm Jewel Tice Williams. I wear lots and lots of hats. She started off with four strikes. Not only was she poor, not only was she a woman, she was a lesbian, and on top of that, a black woman. If we could find everybody that she's inspired, uh, they would be lined up for blocks and blocks and blocks across the city. The four businesses operated under the Village Health Foundation are the Village Health Clinic, Woo! The Vegan Village Internet Cafe, yeah. the Village Matter, yeah. and the Catch One Night. Yeah. And the special part is that no one is turned away. You had people who wouldn't touch people with AIDS. They wouldn't go to your club if there was AIDS-related people in there. Young men in the backyard of the Catch One, some were ill, uh, didn't know where they were going to sleep. Jewel was the person who was trying to take care of all of them, giving them a place to come. The cops coming into my place night after night with their rifles and things drawn. I said, when are you guys gonna stop harassing me? Their whole point was to instill fear and intimidation against the gay community, and especially the black gay community. Jewel's much more an icon and a hero than, than any celebrity. What are you gonna do next, Jewel?